All right, now again, a non Tyler Perry topic of discussion because uh, this literally hit the news um, earlier today, and it is about the new policy for NFL teams for any, um, I guess you could say, any players, personnel, for anyone on a specific team. Like, if you do not stand during the national anthem, that that entire team is going to be fined or penalized in some way, shape, or form. I did read a few articles as well as look at some news reports today, um, actually within the past couple of hours. And as of right now, it is about 5 p.m. where I'm at. As of right now, I didn't see any specific details about what the fine would consist of, how much would it be, and things of that nature. All I know is that if any one player, one personnel of any specific team is sitting, kneeling, or doing anything to, or anything they find disrespectful towards the national anthem or the flag, that team as a whole is going to be fine. Pretty much, you know, it goes back to like grade school when you're in class and the teacher's like, if one person misbehaves or something like that, then the entire class isn't going to be able to go to a picnic or some nonsense like that it's all about the one apple ruins the whole bunch policy which i've personally never been a fan of that's just my thing because i was always a good kid so i always thought it was unfair for somebody who isn't behaving following the rules or pulling their weight in like a group project or at work and then everybody has to suffer because of it Apparently, this vote was unanimous. I believe that one specific team um, decided not to participate to, to participate in the vote. I believe um, they just, you know, abstained themselves from the vote itself. But I do know um, some people were thinking that given the fact that it involves the players, especially because it there have been players who have been kneeling during the national anthem, you would think they would be the one they would have at least some say in the matter. That isn't the case. Like it was made behind closed doors. The policy was in place. I believe uh, President uh, Trump even stated that, you know, that's good. I agree with this policy. Like any person that doesn't stand or show respect during the national anthem shouldn't be in the NFL or shouldn't even be in this country. Now, Again, like I said before, I've never been a fan of the one apple ruins an entire bunch policy, but I will say that even as a kid, like I'm 26, I graduated high school in 09. So I know school now is really different from when I was a kid, like even going back to elementary, I remember like, um, in school before we started the day, you know, we would be in class, the morning announcements would take place over the intercom intercom we would have the pledge of allegiance and we would also have a moment of silence i don't know honestly i'm not going to lie i feel like both of those things may have been taken out of school given the fact that there have been so many debates and whatnot about religion you know um religion versus uh education and whatnot i don't know what's in place because there are just so many different policies all over the country But I will say this much. When I was a kid, there were a couple of kids who didn't stand up during the pledge. And I remember at one time, um, it was either a teacher or a principal that walked by the class and he made this student get up like everybody else. You know, we were up doing the Pledge of Allegiance and then we sat down and it was a principal or somebody that walked by. And I think the principal was actually in the army or whatnot in his younger days. And he asked, um, you know, the young man why he didn't stand up. And he's like, I didn't feel like it. And he was forced to get up and literally do the Pledge of Allegiance, you know, by himself, like stand up and recite the pledge and everything. And literally, I think the teacher, somebody gave a speech about the importance of, look, whether or not you want to get up and do it is to show respect for not only this country, but also the brave men and women who have given their lives you know and died for the country or has served in their younger days are the people who are serving now so you not sitting down is not just disrespectful to the flag but to everything it represents now i do know the big you know thing that happened a couple of seasons ago um when a certain player you know kneeled during the national anthem and what it stood for you know the fact that as long as there's injustice within the country especially towards black people by the cops you know pretty much the law and whatnot then i'm not going to stand i'll admit that is his choice that is his choice i definitely see where he's coming from being black myself i can definitely see where he's coming from but it's kind of like you know like during the civil rights days like you know when certain people who are in history books now um 
organized, you know, like sit-ins and boycotts and stuff like that because of injustice towards colored people during that time. You know, it was like coloreds only, blacks only, whites only, only and things like that. So when it comes down to that, you know, there would have been family members and friends like, no, 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 don't do that. You're just going to cause more trouble and make it worse, worse for us. So in any time frame, there was always a handful of people who wanted to stand out to fight injustice. It wasn't the most popular thing to do, but it needed to be done. But my thing is, you know, personally speaking, I, I still stand during the place like when I was in um, Liberty, you know, as a student and even as a worker, whenever there would be like a big convocation or something along those lines, I would still get up like, you know, during convocation or graduation and we get up to do the Pledge of Allegiance, I, I would get up and do the Pledge of Allegiance, you know, like, like I was taught to do. Like, I get it now that I'm adult. I could sit if I wanted to. But to me, I feel like there's always been injustice and there still is in the world, obviously. But that to me personally, being from a family with multiple people who have been or are currently in the military, I feel like, you know, out of respect for them, I stand that that's just me. Like everybody has their own reason for standing or not standing. I can totally see that. But I feel like this policy is definitely going to rock the boat, especially because this is just news today. So I feel like this is going to be something that's going to be stretched out into even next week. I'm pretty sure news outlets are going to be talking about this, probably have people call in. To me, it's kind of a, I don't, because the NFL is like a big, it's like a multi-million dollar, probably billions. I don't know the details. I don't really follow sports. It's a big corporation. So one person quote on quote stand stepping out of line is a reflection of the entire organization as a, or at least a team because you know there are people who are like he's disrespecting the flag how come uh, the owners are the team cap um, coaches and whatnot aren't putting these people in line so I can definitely see why this policy was put in place because of the whole um, losing money aspect it's a business but at the same time it's one of those situations where I do respect players because they're using their platforms to speak on social issues so i do appreciate that but at the same time you know there's always the backlash of if you do something like this it's going to have repercussions either to your career to your business and things of that nature kind of like you know me i'm just a person who's a full-time youtuber like you know if i post a video like this or my thoughts on certain things like i even have a video um, that I'm posting soon with my thoughts in regards to the whole Kendrick Lamar situation where he had a uh, white fan come on stage and she said the n-word a couple of times and then he censored her like literally stopped her from singing and said you can't say that so that's a debate in itself so there are always going to be these discussions like when I say debates hopefully on this channel I make it clear that I like having open discussions debating is pretty much useless like if we don't agree on something, that's cool. Just tell me why you think the way you think. It's not about changing each other's minds. It's about having healthy discussion to see somebody else's perspective. Maybe we can learn from that. That's all I'm saying. But overall, this policy, I feel like we're definitely going to get some um definitely going to get some traction out of it. I want to see what players think about it. You know, I might be watching some news uh tonight and over the next couple of days to see if any players are going to speak out on this because um, like I said, uh, the news reports say the vote was unanimous. It was, um, something that didn't involve the players themselves. It's pretty much, you know, like being in school or being at work, you know, you're just somebody that works for someone else. You know, there's always going to be people behind closed doors making these big decisions that trickle down to the people in the trenches. And that's how life is. Like, like I said before, the main thing I have against it is the whole, one apple ruins a whole ruins a whole bunch as long as it's not like if one player refuses to stand it doesn't come out of the other team players pockets now that will really burn me up but let me know what your thoughts are on this uh new policy do you think more policies like this might be put into place for different organizations uh do you think it's disrespectful for people not to stand uh do you stand do you not stand let's get this discussion going and i'll talk to you soon